Hey trippers, uh, today is, as you can tell, a pretty cloudy day because Elsa is making her way into Central Florida. So we thought it was a perfect opportunity to visit Arcade Monsters. And what's cool about this place is that you just pay one flat fee and you get to play all the games. We've never been here before so we're super pumped. As you can imagine, the arcade was really loud, so I'm just going to voice over our experience. All day admission is $20, and that gives you access to over 200 different arcade games. They do offer a cosplay discount, so if you feel like dressing up, you'll be able to get in for $16.99. They are open 11 a.m. to 2 a.m., so when they say all day gameplay, you could literally be there from 11 to 2 and only pay $20. Right when you walk in, there are two huge walls lined with pinball machines, so that's where we started. I loved this Monster Bash game. I thought it was so fun, and I could have been there all day. This place is huge. So there's three rooms downstairs and three rooms upstairs. What makes this place so fun for me is all of the artwork everywhere. I love that they had a mix of like newer art and old art. So as you can see, there was Rick and Morty and we have Stranger Things here. But as you explore, you'll also notice tons of throwbacks, which I love. I spent a good chunk of my day here just checking out the walls. And they definitely didn't let you forget where you were at. All right, let's talk about food and drinks. So as you can see here, they have a full kitchen and a pretty big menu, but unfortunately no vegan options. But I didn't want to leave without trying something, so we ordered the strawberry mojito, which the bartender says they make the mix in-house with fresh strawberries and mint. The drink was actually pretty good, um, a bit on the sweet side, but still enjoyable, and the dry ice is always a fun touch. So after drinks, Mitch played a horrible game of basketball, and then we moved over to the ski ball area which we did not succeed at as well. are definitely more retro game people and as you can see here Pac-Man, Contra, there was Qbert, um, they definitely had a huge variety of old games. And my weakness is Galaga. I love this game, I always have to play whenever I see it. So that sums up our trip to Arcade Monsters in Oviedo, Florida. Definitely a great rainy day activity. And I also think it's a great bargain. If you guys have ever gone to Arcade Monsters, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear about your experience. And as always, we really appreciate you guys watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you on our next adventure. Litter Gators!